Good evening. It's me, Eamon here, with a very special map today. This is the first look at the Stevie's new map, Black Rock Valley. Uh, just get down to the main farm, and we'll have a look at the map once I get in a vehicle. We'll tap across right in a vehicle. Get a course play so we can point out the bits and pieces. Right, your main farm is here, which is Black Rock Farm, with pig, uh, beef, and chicken rearing alongside it. Uh, there's egg production also on this part of the farm, and this takes in most of this area. Down in the uh, south east of the map, there's the second farm, which is East Ridge Farm. This takes in sheep dairy and mainly grassland more than anything down here there's some fields but as you can see the fields are it's a good selection of well not really that many really small fields but medium 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 small to large there's two sawmills plenty of places to sell uh, we'll have a little look round some of the stuff here. We will not uh, about all the whole map, I don't think, but there is a lot to see. This was scratch built by Stevie, and I think he said about seven weeks, and I think he's made a very good job. Um, we'll have a look at the equipment you get. I'll get rid of this HUD here. Oops, hit the right button. Why don't you? Uh, we might as well just get rid of course play and we'll have a quick look at the vehicles. You get a lot of vehicles. You should <laughs> if I can hit the right button, there we go. The garage. One T six front loader, three T eights, uh, the wheeled version, the three twenty version, three Magnum three eighties, one T eight uh smart track and we haven't finished yet there's one uh, t9 there's two of the large new hollands complete with the uh, large header agriliner trailer two of there's two uh, of the horse uh, cultivators Three cedars, the Rapid A600. One fertilizer spreader. One muck spreader. One 700 weight. One 1000 weight. Uh, the lizard isn't part of it. It's, I've got that so I can move around a bit quicker. So that isn't part of the map. One Libra um, telehandler. Complete with bucket, pallet, fork. And then you get to your forest equipment, two buffaloes, and to pull up the rear, two scorpion kings. This has everything that you need to start. And as we saw on the map, and we bring it back again, just get this up. You own all the fields from the start. Not always my favourite idea, but these are not seeded from the start. You you start from on the fields, but nothing is planted. And if you start on hard level, which this is set to hard at the moment, you can see you don't have much money. Uh, I will just explain that HUD up here with the day is not included in it. It's my own bit. I must have that to keep some idea how long I'm rambling on for. And down the bottom here, I'll put drive controlling because I use a wheel and it's very hard to con to drive now without a drive control. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Mind you, if you've seen me drive on my, some of my other videos, you will know that uh, I find it hard to drive anyway. Right, we'll just get out of that vehicle and we'll have a look round. I have played about three or four hours on this, not on this particular map. I decided I'd start with a fresh one so we could see everything in the right place. you got two large this is black black rock 
Valley Farm. This one you've got two large hangar type sheds, kitchen vehicles or bales or whatever you want to put in there. Smaller one here. This a lot looks like it should be the seed store, isn't. Don't be caught out by that. I I was at first. I went round the map several times to find it. And over here is another storage for vehicles. And the silos are we're just coming around to now. And these hold it's barley wheat, rape and maize. There's no mighty fruit fruit on this yet, no soil mod, but uh, I talked to Steve, he's talking about doing a second version with those incorporated at sub stage. You get two total ration mixing machines, one here which is here for what we can see over the road there and we'll have a closer look at that in a minute. Uh, storage here for, I can't remember which is which, I just have to step back and see if I can see the side yeah. Grass and dry grass, oi hi. Uh, straw and over here I think is silage and forage it's a double heap system silage from one bit forage in the other but with separate elevators out the back I'm not certain how you get on with taking that out but uh, I haven't got that stage on my own play yet we will find out. And everything here, same as on the Wickham Farm, if you remember, is elevated. Makes things so much simpler. Chaff store with elevator to get it out again. Another equipment store. Store which isn't listed for anything, so I just think this could well be whatever you want. I'm not 100% certain, but. Here is a, another small storage area come workshop. And over here now, this is where all your other bits is. Fertiliser, seeds, water and gas, uh, i.e. diesel. Um, this is where you fill up your all your, your cedars, your sprayers and uh, whatever else you, <laughs> you need and your, of course your vehicles with, with diesel silage bunker uh, your information board for missions which are incorporated on this map and we just run across to the first rear and sheds then we hop through the map and we we'll have a look at what's what once we hop through or uh, have a little bit of drive round. And here we have the your normal cow and pig rearing facilities. Um, sounds like pigs, this one. These are the normal, uh, now we're getting very normal uh, facilities. Uh, this is your muck storage position. Here is your chicken shed. This is slightly different. You need the open tr uh, map tr uh, mod which is uh, the trigger mod and these are manually operated. I just want to close the door behind me. Oh, there's no chickens in there. I don't really want them getting out. It's better. <sighs> See, this it's a good area. Should be get plenty of broiler hands in here. Now I'll just uh, get out the other side and close the door behind me. Remember the country code and all that. Let me just have a quick run round, and you can see here. 
is. Wait, your stuff got water in this one, of course. I'm not certain where you load up as yet. Um, oh, no. It could be inside. It won't be through the back. Ah, now I'm muttering to myself again. But it's very nicely put together map. Oh. So I played about three hours so far, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, this is a uh, beef rearing facility. Again, it's the it's a bog standard uh, modded one, and actually, you anybody who's played on Old Ridge will know that the problems getting to the unloading point on those and this one you've got plenty of room to back in and I think it's the same on the pig I hadn't actually noticed it until now yes uh, even even I could back in on those All right, we'll have a little trip around I've got the map up so I can see when we change there's so many uh, machinery on here there we are. This is the East Ridge Farm. Just get rid of that again. This is where the rest of your equipment is held. A fairly similar setup, but on a smaller scale. Equipment shed. Another info board for missions. For those of you who do them, um, oh, I personally don't bother. I, I don't like the missions a lot. Big barn. And I think actually you can bail, but I think this is really made for for loose feed, to my mind. And it's the same ones here. Water, diesel, fertiliser, seeds. And your silos here actually I, li I like these silos I think they're actually better than the in well they are better than the in-game ones you know never too certain where it's going on the in-game ones and more storage good thing about these must be potato beet and wood chip storage and these are the grass and uh, other Goods. Um, oh, we got there. And this is straw selling point. And if actually, if you come, let's get on a highest point and have a, a look round. It's quite a nice look. <laughs> no, it is a look nice looking map. Nice waterfall at the back there, and it's quite an impressive waterfall too. Again, I hadn't noticed that before. <laughs> There's water, and it's got nice look of moving, and it's not just doing the same movement all the time. If you watch the water here, it actually looks it looks to be alive. Plenty of trees to cut down for those of you in forestry, and talking about that, we have a um, quick look at forestry. I really should have put this on the quick switcher. <laughs> These vehicles. There we go, one of them. This is the uh, FM sawmill. Oh, better just get rid of that again. Better. As you see your Scorpion King and your Buffalo, your chip cell point. Nice touches like the. Uh, you can hear it. <laughs> hear it if I can't get into it. Whoa. See, it gets stuck in here. And you can hear all the equipment going. I thought I could have got in there before, I must be in the wrong bit. 
Ah, it's over here, this boy. Now this looks good, looks very good indeed. This is a map especially for people who love, who don't like the start and love actually trying to balance their time. Logs into here, and uh, your log cell point, and here's your diesel tank. I refuse to call it gas, no matter what is put on this side. It's your diesel tank to refuel again. Let's have a, a quick look at the map. Uh, we have a so I'm gonna have a drive around a few few minutes. We're just sorry. If I hop into one of these vehicles, that should speed things up a bit and moving around. I'm not a great uh, lumber merchant myself, but, uh, but this is a map that you can decide what you want to do. Um, at the start, uh, as you can see, you, you will need to get, get some money in a hurry. This is very similar to the other one the other sawmill. This is the, uh, not really should have, this is the Lake Foo sawmill. Log point. Going with your two posses, your buffalo and your scorpion king. Your chip cell point. Gas tank, sorry, diesel tank. But up here again you have a lovely view of the valley below. It does look nice. Um, right, we'll just get, get back to it and we should soon pick up uh, my little truck. Oh, yeah, we're not quite finished on this tour yet. Find where I am. Oh, yeah, somewhere there. The compost cell point. And I think this. But I'll get rid of the map and we'll have a look at this. Oh, yes, this is the uh, lettuce. Uh, as I shoe on the uh, Wickham, I run for a Wickham farm. This is the uh, lettuce glasses, and I'm really impressed with this bit of kit. This is stuff that normally, up until a short while ago, you, you'd need the universal process kit with. No, we're getting scripted stuff, which I won't say does away with it, but there's not so much need. And the beauty of this is you get full particle effects, whereas the universal process kit, uh, last time I looked at it, couldn't do the full particle effects. I may be wrong, that might have been updated, so it can now. Automatic doors, again, you must have that map uh, trigger in. And I think as I said on the Wickham Farm, not a lot of money per pallet load, but it all helps and it keeps the interest going. Compost and what's this one? Doesn't tell me but it certainly holds seven. Um This must be the cell point here and I think you can store into the other one. Um oh here's your normal because for the uh, large glasses you need water, fuel and fertiliser as water, fertiliser and diesel and this one is wheat for the seed you would probably if you've got a seed master or something similar on there you'd seed too I haven't investigated that but and another large storage area right let's get back to the uh, telehandler Right now, let's 
there we are. Uh, this is the carry facility, so we're just a uh, hot boat. This is the milk facility. Storage shed again. Oh, grass cell point. And you have a bunker. And over here is your second uh, total ration mixer, which, to be honest, you need because with one on a large farm, you're hard pressed to keep. I'm finding that on my old ridge farm, that just with just 50 cows and a few other things worth feeding it too, it's getting hard to keep them f fed. <laughs> Muck, with it. I like, no, I like the touch on this. It looks well. You could either say it's got protected wood on it, or it's getting a little bit second hand. I like to think it's getting to look a little bit second hand. Get yourself stuck on. I'm working cross handed. Uh, the wheel in front of me, I've got the keyboard to one side, and it's. I'm not the most uh, agile of people at the best of times. Right, we have a. See where we end up. See what we want to look at. Map. Uh, we'll start this up once we Well, we'll go through a, a few of the uh, points and see what we turn up with. Well, if we don't, and north of the map, I think we need to go. That's uh, south of the map, we need to go north as soon as we can. Let's get, hop inside, take this one. Should take us generally north. Oh, there. oh there's a like that. Nice forward. As you see, a lot I have actually made a start on this map. Uh, I'm off screen. I was lucky that Stevie has let me have a copy to do this video on, and thank you very much, Stevie, for that. Uh, much appreciated. But I have had a few girls at it and plant a few fields and all the fields if you look carefully there's no flat fields they all bend I'll do what you shouldn't do I'll drive over the field as you see it's not just one direction there they're curving that they look like real fields let's get back to the road before we lose control of this truck. I haven't got my normal gecko because I find that far too uh, slidey on some of these maps. Um, oh, we're going to Hard Rock. Oh, we... Yes, yeah, so I think we go uh, west at the next turn and then south and we should turn up the sawmill. There we come. As uh, for once, I I'm running with traffic on, but I don't think there's any traffic on this map, and frankly, you don't need it. I normally I play as anybody's watched my videos with traffic turned off anyway. I don't like it. Automatic gates on a lot of the uh, areas. And we must go and have a look at. I mean, let's just let's just have a look in here. This is a cell point for I think for eggs. There's somewhere. Yeah, it's just here. There's it's a campsite by the looks of it. Um, it looks like it's been quite well used. There's several cars about. 
There's a lot of nice little touches as you go through this map. Um, let's see which way to go next. Uh, if we go right. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I want to go this way again. It should go off to the side somewhere. the bridge. That's back the farm over there you can see. That shop is up here some. Well, oh there is the traffic boat. Uh, yeah it's fine. Ah oh, has the road. Oh there is traffic here. So once you're on the farm tracks you're fine but you get up onto the mine bits and I'm going to have several accidents <sighs> right, we'll just turn up and look at this this is the shop where you'd buy just your trees we don't, which we don't want and I think it's this is a compost cell point. Uh, oops, there we are. Oh, sorry, manure cell point. Compost cell point is actually to the north of us, so we need to go north a bit more. Find out what I've done with my truck. Again, don't try and load up with fertilizer or seed on these. They are decoration but you no, don't need them let's face it let's have a look see what it looks like over here oh that's nice showing some of the wares which are selling and I'm probably get myself stuck in here now just back up As you can see, it's not lagging at all, so I'm I'm running on my normal uh, resolution. I'm running one off maximum, not run on ultra, mainly because when I'm recording, I found that ultra would not quite do it. We just come down here. Watch out for traffic. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way again. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, this hope is never coming. Better just go north. Just been past the shop. Been down there. We go this way, we follow this truck. And this there's more fuel than there, where's the way in? This is the one we've already seen. <laughs> so you know, oh, I wasn't fun just driving around. Uh, oh yes, this is the one we're seeing. This is there. Now where do we want to go next? Uh, then we have a look at the meat sales, which is carry on going north. It's a way out over here. Mm, no. Well, uh, 
think was with the last public beta on 1.3, they'd got they had brought some of the sliding back, but uh, to a controllable extent, it's not uncontrollable, but it does catch you out at times. Now, which way do we want to go up ahead here? Turn east, then north again. Is it straight north now? No. So we keep going east. Sorry. See, I'm coming behind me. There should be a road off to the north. Up ahead here. Let's try. Let's. Whoa. Up here. Another exiles and uh, generals. I think I think you've got general sales up here at the diner. Let's just have a look. Oh, cause I haven't taken you through all the cell points. The two holy place, compass and place, all take wood chips, bio gas plant. Take silage. Um, the cargo office takes most standard stuff. Central sawmill takes wood chips and it must also take logs, but the, I don't think there's any way to actually put on logs on there. I think they're a fixed price. The compost selling point, Eastridge firm, uh, sawmill. Wood chips again and ordinary logs of course. Flour mill will take all standard stuff. The hanger bog by takes everything except for sugar beet. Other sawmill, well obviously what it takes is a couple of manure cell point meat sales takes your pigs, beef and chickens. Um, not sure what PPU2 takes, oh. it doesn't, it's not actually a cell point. Shipping office, train yard, oh and the train is a full operational uh, train with the uh, extra bonus when you send it off. The West Diner, which I think we are at the moment, West Grain Silo, silo I think it's just a storage point, yeah, they've got no price in their storage points. I think we just have one look, one more quick look up to the next point of interest, and I think I'm going to close this off as now. And but let's just check. We haven't seen everything, but we we'll have a look at the meat sales, which is the other thing I want to see, which is go north again. Now, what's the better? I mean traffic coming here. You can see the way I drive, I very really have traffic on it. It's for safety of other people. Now is this the... Ah, this looks a bit like what I'd expect, yes. This is Central Meat Processing. Uh, offload here. Phone if you uh, break down here. <laughs> Call out the AA. Other breakdown companies are, are available. Another cell point here. Let's see how this. That looks like a grind cell point. So they must, uh, let's just see, this is the, um, uh, the meat sales, meat sales, see what they take. No, I must, hmm, not too certain if that was just storage for other things. Oh, because we're hanging by, ah. Uh, Look at the map, that's easy. This is the hangar 
bog by, which is a cell point for. Let's find it. Let's see if we can find it on there. Here we are. For everything except for sugar beet. Oh, standard crop set for sugar beet. This is uh, set to hard. As you see, the prices are quite good. But there's enough places that if you should be selling a lot of stuff, one of them is going to be having a good price for whatever you're selling. I think we'll go, I'm going to go back to the main farm. Let's check we are on the yes. And we'll go back. Well. Um. Right. Alright, let's have a look. find somewhere nice to stop. Oh, up here, up by the house. Uh, that will be a good place any to end this. Uh, again, I'd like to thank Stevie for uh, allowing me to show this. By the time you see this, the map will have been released. And I hope everybody who plays it enjoys it. I will be doing stuff on there, but probably not on screen. Because uh, I've got enough going at the moment. Rather a nice house, so uh, I could do with one of those myself. Anyway, as, as normal, it's uh, Cheerio for now, and thank you very much for watching.